What's up everybody, it's Sean here, and I'm here today to give you guys a review of the Nike Dunk Low Premium in this Montreal Bagel colorway. Today's video was sponsored by Hefalux. When it comes to sneakers, comfort is king. So when you buy a pair of shoes and find out they're uncomfortable, one of the easiest fixes is to swap the insoles. So that's where Hefalux comes into play. They sell ETPU insoles, which essentially is the same material you'll find in Adidas Boost. And if you check out their website, which I've linked down below in the description box, you'll see they sell a variety of different insoles. So depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, you're gonna find there's a suitable insole for anyone. So I've been a paying customer of Hefalux for years now, and I find them to be extremely comfortable. So if you guys wanna check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase. So this right here is a special Nike Dunk Low release, which celebrates the famous bagels of Montreal. Releasing here in Canada on January 14th, these retail for a price of 120 US dollars or 160 or 170 Canadian dollars depending on the store you bought them from. And the official colorway for this shoe is Sesame, Blue Jay, Sail, and Sandrift. So first things first, here's a quick look at the box. So this comes in a special edition box, which I believe is exclusive to Canadian retailers. So on the top, it says Bagel Dunk with a graphic of a bagel. And then on the sides of the box, you'll see we have a bunch of images which represent the city of Montreal. And they even put a graphic of a bagel on the hole on the front of the box, which was a very nice added touch. And these illustrations were drawn and designed by a Montreal-based illustrator. So kudos to him for an amazing job on these illustrations. Honestly, this box might even be better than the shoe itself. And let me know in the comment section down below, for those of you guys who bought these outside of Canada, did it come with a special box or did you guys only get the red Nike sportswear box instead? As for the shoe itself, so diving into the details, this is your classic Dunk Low silhouette. The base layer of the sneaker on the toe box, this is covered in this tan colored leather and just like any other dunk, we have these perforations across the toe box. Unlike a lot of general release Nike sportswear dunks though, the leather used on the shoe feels like a genuine leather and it's very nice and soft to the touch. You run your fingers across it, you can see those natural leather grains which is a great sight to see. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have a darker tan leather and the same leather covers the eyelets of the shoe as well. Printed all across this darker tan leather, we have these little sesame seed graphics, which is slightly raised and has a little bit of a texture to it when you run your fingers across this. Moving downwards on the mid panel, we have more of that smooth tan leather, and then overlaid on top of this, we have a blue leather swoosh, which also feels like it's constructed out of very nice leather. Moving downwards, you can see we have more of that sesame seed covered leather, and then on the heel of the shoe at the very top, we have more of that blue leather, and debossed across, we have the Nike word mark in white. As for the laces, so these only come with one lace option, and they're just a normal flat style lace in white. And then underneath this, we have a leather tongue instead of the normal nylon tongue, and this leather also feels pretty nice to the touch too. I was reading online and the white laces and white tongue are supposed to represent cream cheese, which is often paired with Montreal bagels. And at the very top, we have this completely white out tag with Nike branding done in this tonal finish. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe is lined in this white colored mesh and then moving on to the insoles, so these come with your standard foam lined insole, however it's covered on top with this wood graphic which represents wood burning ovens which the bagels are usually baked out of. So the upper of the dunk sits atop this solid rubber capsule and then turning the shoe over to the bottom, the outsole here is done in this semi translucent gum rubber finish. This is just your normal dunk outsole, so we have that same circular pivot point on the forefoot, along with the Nike logo right in the center. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these dunks. And for those wondering about sizing, to me these fit like most of my other Nike sportswear dunks, so I personally prefer to stick true to size. So my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10 and they fit me perfectly. So whatever size you normally wear for your dunk lows, I'd stick with that same size. And keep in mind, this is not an SB dunk, so we don't have a padded tongue. So I'd imagine for most people, sticking true to size should be fine. Moving on to the comfort. So these feel like any other dunk low. It's gonna be very stable, very low to the ground, and there's not too much from a softness and step in comfort perspective. But for just an everyday casual reuse shoe, dunks are gonna be okay. Just don't expect anything too soft, too responsive. This is technology from the mid 80s and it's honestly pretty outdated. But again, just for walking around in them, they're gonna be perfectly fine. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, 
So overall, I thought the material quality was very, very solid. Honestly, it was a bit surprising the quality of the leather that they use on this shoe. I was fully expecting a lot more of a plastic feel to it, but honestly, when you run your fingers across this, you can really see those natural leather grains. And these won't have that ugly crease on the toe box, like for example, the Panda Dunks, from the very first moment that you undead stock them. And similarly, from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, I honestly couldn't find any major issues on this pair. The stitch job, while it wasn't perfect, it was still very, very good. The panel shapes were cut consistently and placed consistently. No warping of the midsoles or outsoles or anything like that. So I thought this was a very, very solid release from Nike. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these bagel dunks on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. Overall, the shoe with the special edition packaging, it makes it a very, very dope release, especially for us Canadians. It's rare for a Canadian city to get shown love from Nike, especially on this wide of a scale. And the fact that they gave us that special edition packaging, which was incredible, like I just said, makes this release that much more special. The shoe in itself is very clean. When you look at it from afar, it's a pretty neutral looking colorway. And it's really when you get up close and you see those sesame seeds that you can really appreciate those smaller details. But again, from a high level, it's a colorway that you can wear with a lot of different outfits. And I personally really like the splashes of blue. I think it elevates the look of the shoe and gives it a bit more pop. And this is that perfect shade of blue that I think really, really looks nice. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about these Montreal Bagel Dunk Lows. What are your overall thoughts on the execution and the design of this shoe? And is this a pair that you guys picked up or is it not really your cup of tea? Either way, leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this release. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, follow my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seangoca So until next time, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.